Howdy y'all, and welcome back to lives. I think it's time we play a little... Seven Days to Die. Didn't I tell us to make more than one of these? I thought I told us to make a few of these. So where are the rest of them? Oh, one's in my inventory. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm going to need a switch as well. Switch. Alright. Not a lot I can do with one and no way to turn it on or off, but I can at least figure out where I want to place it. Get down in here. Uh, so obviously I need to protect my supports. Those things work great. Um, I got a bunch of stuff on me. Let me, should have dumped this stuff before I came down. Uh, it's going to be a few minutes of crafting here to get those ready. So we might as well go out and do some more exploration. And, you know, scavenging. Walla wait. Uh, you know what, though? I am super low on bullets. Um, so I should probably get bullets going as well. Uh, casings, right? Yeah. When I say I'm super low on bullets, I mean I'm out. I I used them all while I was fighting that uh, thing that killed me. That super zombie. I kind of want to go back and... Uh, I mean, my motorcycle's over there, so I have to go back over there anyways, right? See if I can take care of it, but I can't do that without some bullets. So, uh, I just, I don't understand. So we went, I went upstairs today uh, at lunchtime. And uh, to get, well, for me, it was breakfast time. And um, so I headed up there and I noticed that the ice tray, we have a, in the, in the freezer, um, Um, in the refrigerator, freezer, ice maker. Uh, love it. It's, it's awesome. Uh, we have, uh, you know, I was thinking of switching to these armor piercing. Although, I wish I knew what the difference was. I apparently don't have the book for this. Or that one. So never mind. I, I don't know. I can't make either of those. Just kidding. They're locked still. Make me some of those then. And, um... So there's... It goes in the door. And there's, like... A big... Uh... All right, that's all we can do with that right now. Uh, it goes in the door, and there's like a big, you know, bucket that 
hooks in the door that catches the ice when the ice is made. And so the 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 refrigerator itself will spit out through the door, like with the doors closed, ice cubes and water. And the ice cubes can come out as chunks or crushed. Crushed is my favorite because I'm not a fan of ice. And so I put a little crushed in the bottom of a glass and then pour the water over it. By the time I'm ready to drink it, the ice is melted and the glass is nice and cold. It's awesome. And uh, on top of that, nobody ever has to fill ice trays because they never got filled. Ever. In the history of ice. And so you go to the freezer and there'd just be empty ice trays in the freezer. Um, and I don't even like ice, so I almost never needed ice but man every time I go to the freezer to get out like something to thaw off for dinner the ice trays would just be empty so it's great it's great all right so go upstairs today and there's the there's the ice bucket out of the freezer sitting on the counter uh, and it's wet so obviously it has not been in the freezer uh, oh this was not very far I really thought this was super far away and it's not well i guess we can come over here and work on this door a little bit then then or this wall uh oh things are loading it doesn't like it okay so that's a thousand this <laughs> is so slidey This is going to take a while to bash through. So, um, I'm like, okay, whatever. Uh, so I, I use the bathroom and I come out and my nephew's in the living room watching anime. And so I'm like, hey, why is the ice bucket out on the counter? And he says, his sister squeezed a drink enhancer of lemonade into the ice bucket. Are you dead? No, you're not dead. Okay, this is where I run away. Because I don't have any gun. I don't, have any, I don't have any ammo to shoot these guys. I just wanted to crack... Oh, dude. I just wanted to crack open the... thing. Come on, dude. Na 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 na. I'm a leaving. I'll be back, though, with some ammo to shoot you in the face. So, uh, yeah, so they had to take it out and empty it and clean it because she decided to squeeze drink enhancer. Lemonade, you know, those little squeeze bottles of water flavor, um, which I like. I use them all the time. Um, in the ice tray, though. Like, why would you squeeze it into the ice bucket? It doesn't... I just, it, I don't even know the thought process. All I can figure is that she must have been, she must have decided that she could make, instead of running out the ice and then adding the <laughs> lemonade to it to make like a slushy, uh, which I assume is what she was trying to do, uh, that she could add it ahead of time. I, I just, I don't know. It's bizarre. <laughs> and we were playing uh, Final Fantasy last night. 
and uh... oh right right I got like a long time before this stuff is done I need bullets now so Seven, six, two, ammo. Can I just make it by box? Uh, nope, I don't have that unlocked either. Okay. Okay, and then we can go back to the blade traps and the switch and then apparently I need to make some more gunpowder uh, so I need coal I have some coal and some nitrate powder and so we're uh we're playing last night and um i uh <laughs> i started a conversation uh about windows 11 uh and um, so the one guy who plays, uh, he, uh, the, the DM, he has suddenly gained over the last couple of months here, the desire to complete anything someone tries to say without even knowing what they were trying to say. Uh, it's mildly annoying. And, um... It's more than mildly annoying to me. Like, why would you just burst in with something when someone else is talking? What if it was the thing they were trying to talk about? Oh. Oh, don't don't drive in there. Uh, and, uh... uh so I was like... Hey, you guys... Oh, that is not... like, hey, did you guys hear about the Windows 11 um, little Windows 11 deal? Uh, I was looking at the the new specs for it, and then he's like, oh, is this about the TPM thing? Because, you know, I heard they were they were, and then he just goes off about this thing, and then he stops, and then I'm like, so did you hear about this Windows 11 thing? Uh, I was looking at the the specs for it, and I imagine it's going to change, but dude, he talked, he just like burst in and talked about something totally different than what I was going to talk about, and even if it was what I was going to talk about, that's super rude. Get your own topic to talk about, man. Uh, the thing that I was talking about was uh, currently the Windows 11 um, uh, does my computer, will my computer load Windows 11 program um, does not accept anything earlier than a Gen 7 processor. Uh, which is fairly new, uh, I think. Uh, let me see. Uh, what gen is Intel on? Oh, I guess they're on 11th. Woof, my processor's old. <laughs> oh, no, they announced 11. Uh... 10 came out a year ago. So, um, but my processor is a Gen 6. And, um, 
I got it at the end of Gen 6, so right before the Gen 7s came out. Um, but it says my processor won't run it. Apparently I need a new processor. Apparently I am four generations, five generations behind. That's crazy. I have gone through several video cards with this computer. Um, I have an i7, right? It's a i7 4 core, 4 gigahertz. Uh, it's not like I'm slacking. Although, I would like to get a new computer together. I, um, I just want to wait until the... <sighs> get some stamina, guy. Jeez, Pete's. I just want to wait until the, uh, I guess I should have drank this first. Uh, I should have brought some coffee, so I should have done. I think coffee regens your stamina. That's not getting me neither. Um, but I was waiting for the prices to come back down with all the pandemic stuff and factory shut down prices skyrocketing kind of thing. Although I guess if I need to build a new computer or a mirror start, they're going to be able to save it for it. <laughs> Alright, come on. We gotta get some coal now. Uh, I can't remember. Is this a coal right next to this or is this Lead. Looks like lead. I don't have a problem with lead. Coal's in the other part, right? Uh, nope, coal's over there. That is not the direction I thought it was in. Good thing I looked. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know, I don't know the deal, man. He, uh, this is a newer thing. Um, I just, it's, it's weird to just start into a sentence and then have someone burst over top of you, start talking about something related to, but not what you were going to talk about. Like, you didn't even wait for me to get to the subject. Like, I can understand bursting in to talk about what I wanted to talk about. But to just think that you know what someone's about to say. And decide that you should say it instead. That's just... Bizarre to me. Coal mine. Uh, but we did uh, we did get a little further in uh, Finfan last night. Um, some of us did. Uh, it wasn't probably beneficial for a couple of the guys. Um, we've been working on well, I've been working on uh, relic weapons. The other guy, the one who DMs and cuts in over top of me now, um, is also working on his relic and. Uh, um, and so, um, that was, that was one of the things, uh, that was one of the earlier conversations when he, uh, started noticeably cutting in over top of what people were trying to say with something related, but not what they were going to say. Uh, and that was, um, so I, I've talked about it before, but relic, relic weapons are usually, um, they're in a lot of. MMOs and they're usually really difficult to get. They they come by different names. Um, in Final Fantasy, they're called relic weapons. And so basically, you get like the starter weapon, and then you have to improve its power by completing long quest chains. Right? Kill these giant monsters, collect this super rare material. You know, spend a ton of money 
use every crafter in the existence of the game to oh uh to make something um i remember doing the not that this has anything to do with final fantasy but i remember back in everquest doing the um um oh it looked like a wreath it was a ring it's the ring event is is a thing that i i use because we learned about events we called ring events after that everybody i played with called them ring events um uh where the first first group of mobs come out and you kill them and then the second group of mobs come out and you kill them um we always called them ring events because that was the first first time we really came across that mechanic in an mmo was the ring uh you had to fight waves of bad guys as they came out and uh, at the end of it. And even in EverQuest 2, um, we call them ring events uh, when you had to fight waves of bad guys coming out. Uh, and anyways, uh, so stuff like that, right? Just, it's not easy to do, and you get, usually it's really nice, but we're, like, way over-leveled for them, so they're not as nice as they could be. Uh, but they look cool, and you can use uh, Glamour to make whatever weapon you're using to look like a different weapon, as long as you can use it. And so, um, you know, I, I got the nice, shiny, super special relic weapon as my, my cover. So anyways, um... One of the steps in this relic is to collect this stuff called crystal sands. And it's not easy to do. It's rather expensive for the most part. But I found a way online that takes a lot of time, but doesn't require a lot of, like, killing multiple dungeons worth of things or spending all the money you have in the game on these items. And so I wanted to tell the group about this thing I discovered. Um, I mean, I didn't discover it, but, you know, I I read about it on Reddit or whatever. And uh, so I'm like, okay, guys, so when you get to this stage, uh, I found a way uh, that you can get the Crystal Sands really easy. And then he just burst in over top of me. And he's like, oh, yeah, you just use the the blue scripts or something like that. And uh, you can just buy all that with blue scripts. And uh, and then that way you don't have to do all the other stuff. And I was just like, A, you're the only one that's done crafters. Uh, so the blue scripts only come from crafting quests. So you're the only one that had those. B, um, they've been patched out of the game now. Uh, and see, that's not what I was talking about. <laughs> uh, so the one I was talking about was to collect ambers from quests, um, that you can do daily. And they're really, really, like, you don't even have to do the quest. There's a limit on how many times you can do these quests every day. And so you can go in and if it's, um, you can abandon the quest. And then if you want to do the quest again, you can restart the quest, but it uses up one of your daily attempts. And so what you do is you go in, you start the quest, the ambers drop from random chests and the quests are tiny little events. And so you start the quest, you can see if the chest is there. If there's a chest there, you loot it, you get your amber, and then you abandon the quest, and then you start the quest again. But you use up your daily ability, your daily quest run thing uh, by doing that. Um, but it doesn't cost you a lot. Oh man, I am out of wood. Now I'm going to go back down and hack down a tree. Um... But yeah, that was uh, that was probably one of the earlier times when I started to notice him doing this. And it's not like we haven't confronted him. I mean, I was angry the one time and yelled at him, basically. Uh, and he just doesn't care. He just does not care. And 
Uh, I mean, it's not just me he does it to, but... Um, we started saying uh, every time he cuts in over top of somebody, we're like, oh, he knows. <laughs> oh, he knows. He knows all of it. <laughs> uh. But yeah, so we completed uh, rounds, the final round of the relic weapon. I'm working on. I need. Um, I need a few more. They're called poetics. They're they're uh, money for certain items, and uh, there's a lot of different monies in this game, um, and poetics is one of them. And so we. Uh, they're not hard to get. There's, they're just, um, they take a little bit of time, and the best ways to get them you can only do once a day. Uh, but you get a lot of them. Uh, so like, I currently need 500 poetics. I have 300 poetics, um, and uh, and I you can earn like 700 poetics with a single daily mission. Um, sometimes. 800, 800 poetics with a daily mission? It's something like that. You get, you get like a, an amount for doing the event. You get a bonus amount for it being your once a day event. Um, and then if somebody's new to it, uh, you get a bonus for helping someone do the event for the first time. Oh, wow. And so it works out pretty good. Uh, Uh, but anyways, once I get that, I can buy the ink I need, and then the ink completes the level 60 relic. And the level 71, I can't start until we're done with the, uh, the expansion we're on. So I will be... Nice. That is a lot of gunpowder. I will be at the max level for that thing. I got a second one I'm working on, so it's not like I'm done doing that stuff. Um, but it'll be a little, a little easier. All right, so now I got some ammo. Uh, we'll let that do its thing, and then we'll head back over to this thing real quick and see if I can get in that back room and grab grab the goodies that are in that back room that I want. Provided I can find my way back to where that was at. Uh... Uh, was it this one? Where I've got a bed outside of it? Maybe? Um... I didn't think it was very far. Was it this one? This is not the one with the bed outside of it. Yeah, it's this one. Hey, where'd you guys go? Nice. That silencer is letting me pick them off a little slower. Nice. Oh, 
Oh, dude, I totally just got a level out of all that. Sweet. Ticket, you died. Uh, why did I think there was loot here? There was loot, right? I just was killing this stuff. Yeah, because I didn't have time to loot all of this. Right. All right, let's see what we can get. We got uh, a baseball bat. Nope. I don't want that. That was a shame. We got uh, a box to cut open. Uh, we got some repairs. All right. Got a safe to pick. Yeah, I might actually have to jump on and finish that relic quest before I go back to work after dinner. Uh, uh oh, I heard an explosion. I heard another explosion. I heard another explosion. I don't know what's coming after me, but it's not having a good time. I thought it was going to get in here, but that is not happening. Yep, Mondays. Mondays are busy. Come on. Mondays, Wednesdays. Thursdays. My busiest days, Sundays. Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Thursdays. Uh, all right, so nice, nice. Useless, useless, useless. Uh, useless. Uh, doesn't look useful, but it is. That's useless. It's that robotic sledge again. I should probably... Oh, man, another pick box. I should probably put down that robotic sledge just so I can see what it does. I've never actually seen one, so... Woo, this is a big haul. We're not done yet. Should have brought my bike in here so I don't have to crawl so far with all the weighted down I'm going to be. I'm still not done. There's <laughs> so much loot. A lot of it's going to be scrapped, though. I need the parts off those rifles, not the rifles themselves. Nice. That was a good haul. Well, I'm going to cart this stuff back over to my home base here. And, uh, oh, you know what? I should probably get the meat off this guy. What? Really? I don't have enough room to... Oh, that's okay. I got what I wanted. It's a lot of bones. All right, well, I am going to call it here. Uh, so, be better than the small things. Lean to the light. I will talk to you later.